Okay, we are back in the studio. Uh, Tickfress smartwatch. Let's do a quickly unboxing. This is the box, guys. Uh, kind of medium uh, sized. It's just fine and looks secure, guys. It does look secure for shipping from China. Let's go. Okay, voila. Here we go, guys. We have some Tickfress uh, manuals here and warranty card. Make them counts. Check this out. So we use a manual. This shows waiting for connection. Okay, that is fine. That is fine. Probably a few different uh, languages. We have guys additional screws here for the yeah do we have additional yes additional check it out. yeah additional screws if you lose them which is very nice that is very nice from them I think that the Tickfus Max uh, the big uh, daddy we call it like that of this one doesn't come with additional screws mini mini screws so it's very easy to lose them very easy uh, also we have additional screen protector guys you already have pre-installed screen protector but we have also additional one very nice touch we have uh, here you go magnetic uh, charging cable or, or the port of course the house have you call it we have screw a screwdriver here is this a screwdriver together okay, what else we have and nothing else nothing else here guys this is the content of this box let's leave everything on the side here we go, here we go guys, the Tickpress uh, Max S uh, finally, so Max S smaller but super. Yeah, so if you remember the Max, uh, let's just say Max Large, this this Max Small S, S size and then we had Max Large with a bigger display and everything. So this one is a Retina display, uh, 2000 mAh battery, a dual camera, so we have front selfie camera and let's just say side camera or the main camera, I think this is, we can call it the main camera with the microphone here, speaker, 3 GB RAM, 32 GB ROM, dual 4G LTE, uh, Windows 10 or Win 10 themes, Face ID and Global Bands. Uh, guys, this is a really great uh, smartwatch slash smartphone. <laughs> I call it a smartphone because it has a classical uh, native Play Store, guys, which basically you can download almost every single app which you can download on Android smartphone. Check it out, I already downloaded YouTube, Headball, Strikers, Geekbench 5, Clash Royale, which I'm going to test some of these apps. Very interesting. So quickly, we're going to go here and show you, check right now, that we have on the back the SIM location. You can obviously unscrew it and insert your SIM there. A lot of sensors, magnetic port here for the charging. These are very thick, uh, very, very thick, guys. Uh, let's just say stripes. And how you take these stripes also with the screws, guys. So basically, this is Titanic. This is titanic stripes. I don't know who is gonna manage to uh, pull up these uh, stripes uh, with their own hands manually. You'll have to use a screwdriver, guys, to unscrew this part over here. I hope you can see that. Yeah, I hope you can see this on both sides here and here, here and here. Anyway, two we have two belts again for security, beautiful for long term use. That's very nice. Uh, regarding the frames here, of course, metallic body design with the plastic combination. So remember, this is a bit heavy, this is more heavier than a standard regular smartwatches. We have a home button and a return button on the left side. Yeah, I can call it like that. It's the left side right now. Uh, and yeah, that's it regarding the design wise and material here TPU, uh, hard plastic, and aluminum alloy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me just put it on my hands uh, and see how it looks like. By the way, guys, this is the uh, application which you can download for this uh, smart band, uh, smartwatch. It's called V Watch, uh, v -watch 2. Okay, uh, permission settings. I'm not gonna do that. Confirm. Okay. Okay, so what can I tell you that this app does have hundreds and hundreds of different uh, smart faces guys let me just simply download one and see how this is gonna work mm, let's see what can i download man That's what the heck so, such a huge choice here we have let me see something just let me just go with this one so probably you can click here okay it's gonna be downloading it okay that's fast download that's fast download Okay, I'm downloading it again while I'm doing this. I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. Boom. There you go, guys. This is how it looks like right now. Of course, if you want to change it, you're going to change it like this. Very simple. Check this out. So what I don't like about it, which is a little bit stupid, it is this application. So all these uh, Android, uh, of all these skins which you see right now, this is made for square, bro, for square aspect ratio, not for round, round uh, uh, aspect ratio. What the heck? Let me just go back. That's very nice. So I don't know where they downloaded these ones. We have here basketball one. Is that LeBron James? Wow, that's very nice. Go back here. Beautiful, beautiful. 
So, so far I can say that I love this one. This is also a very nice one, neat, but there's no Play Store here. There's internet, it's fine, you can access the Play Store uh, from here. Can you access the Play Store from here? Oh my god, you can't access the place. Ah, yeah, you can. Sorry for that, you can. There you go. I'm gonna leave that. Okay, just before that, let before I put it on the hands, I'm gonna just show right now this application. So I can has very bad scores, Ninjas. What what is the score for this application? 2.6. So I've, okay, it's not very, very bad, it's just average, as they say, average. Out of five stars, this is like medium score, isn't it? Uh, but again, I wish it's better. I wish it's better than that. So it wouldn't have 2.6 scores. Uh, 2.6 scores unless the people are obviously mad about it. We look plus 100k uh, downloads, man. And let's go back here. Step count, personal information, auxiliary input, lookup device. You can look up the device here. There you go. It beeps. Raise the screen option. You can raise the screen option if you turn off or if when it's on your obviously on your wrist. Dial download. We check this unit switching metric or of course inch. Permission settings, visit the forum, instructions, software updates. You can go to the uh, its latest, like on version 3.0.33. And that's it. Regarding here, we can access steps, heart rate, and weight. Check this out. Very interesting. That's it, guys. Simple. Simple application. Simple application with the smartwatch. I repeat again, uh, they should uh, have a different smartwatch. Example for Android, these uh, smart faces, uh, smart uh, smartwatch skins. Uh, it's kind of stupid. Uh, what, you're gonna download the circular one and have it on a square one? That's so stupid, man. And let's continue next. So, uh, we're gonna go here, swipe to the, to the left. And from here, you can access all the options, guys, like see best self. You can access all the options. Uh, I forgot something to say about this one. So the weight is 120 grams. Yeah, 120 grams. That's a, a bit heavy, man. We have to admit. So material of the strap is silicone. A length is about 200 millimeter, and width is about 28 millimeter of the strap. Remember that. Uh, what else we can tell you about this smartwatch? Of course, we said it uh, has 2000 mAh battery and standby time is about 7 days while the usability is around 2 days. So remember that guys, around 48 hours. The fully charged is 3 hours and the charging type is dog charging slash magnetic charging. Yeah. Beautiful 2.4 inch IPS screen, 640 with 480 uh, pixels, and of course we have 2G, 3G, and 4G LTE band, supports the Wi-Fi, supports GPS, and nano SIM card. Anyway, go through the settings, let's go to the settings here. From settings, unfortunately, you can't uh, adjust by yourself the volume, you have to go through the settings all the time, guys. Check this out. And so far what I'm seeing here, it's loud enough. It's loud enough, ring volume also here when somebody is calling you. Go back, display option, from here you can select the brightness level. There you go, brightness level, let's go next, app list style, matrix or bubble, connectivity, this is going to connect to the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, GPS, airplane mode, awesome man, oh, like I'm telling you it's like a smartphone, it's like a smartphone bro, gesture, parameter service and screen on raising, uh, measuring, power saving, language and input, date and time, reset equipment and what we have regarding the more, accounts, face unlock. So you can enable face unlock, this is seriously great, this is seriously great, I'm gonna even try to use it, wait. Please, please enter a new password, okay. Here you go, again, retype the new password. Okay, so let's check this screen, uh, basically face ID. Let's check it out, why not? Okay, lock it, unlock it, and swipe it. Check this out. Wow, okay, okay, that is, that is cool, that is neat. Uh, let me just enable it. So let me just show right now, uh, my face is off, my face is not there. If I put my face in front, it's unlocked. <laughs> awesome, of course, you don't have to use your face, you can use the option, there you go, unlocked. Man, that is, that is seriously awesome, man. It's very responsive. Very responsive here. What is this? This is under one and a half second. That's very fast for a smartwatch. Let's continue next. What do we have next here? Audio player. We're going to control the audio player. We don't have anything here for now. Let me just try to play something. It should be playing something. Okay, let's jump from one to another uh, thing about this uh, smart, uh, smartwatch because there's uh, so plenty things to do with it and to show you it. The front selfie camera, guys, is uh, 2 megapixel while the side camera is 8 megapixels. So, big, big difference. Uh, let me just go here, go down, go up. This is the front selfie video. 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, that's not bad at all. <laughs> wow, what a great frame rate, great frame rate, great audio also. Very recognizable, the face, the video and the audio. Not, bro, what the heck? That's amazing, bro. That's seriously amazing. Let's stop that. Let's go next. This is with the side camera. Okay, this is recording right now with a smartwatch. Let's check it out how it looks like, the quality itself. It's just fun here, recording around my studio. Check this Good out. frame rate, stable frame rate. I don't see that it's freezing or buggy. Like it's fine, it's just the exposure is not that great, but again, this is a smartwatch, bro, $130, $150. The, the microphone is great. The microphone is great, seriously, the microphone is great. Few pictures with the main camera. There you go. That's it, yeah, I didn't take more pictures. Oh, there you go, another one. <laughs> I took with the main camera very, very bad. It was very bad pictures. Anyway, guys, I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied by the camera performance of this smartwatch. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go next. Contacts, of course, you're going to go through the contacts here. You have everything saved. Check this out. Overthink. Uh, phone, you can dial here. This is the dialer, how it looks like. Yeah, here. Oh, okay, very nice. They also have option here to see which uh, phone uh, or basically the missed calls and everything. Dialer just looks okay, very responsive. Okay, beautiful. Here, the dialing, you press just this thing. You can also, obviously, put the volume up or down. Let's go next. Messaging, you have option here for the messaging. Settings, I think we went through the settings. We went through the settings. Uh, music player, unfortunately, I couldn't try, I couldn't manage to connect it. It doesn't recognize my sm smartphone here while playing the with the default audio player. It's a little bit odd. Uh, calendar is fine, fully fetched calendar. Browser, browser. Okay, so I'm using this default uh, browser, like see myself here, googling on a smartwatch. <laughs> and bro, the, the experience is fluent. The experience is fluent here, what I'm seeing right now, beautiful. Wow, bro. Seriously beautiful. The it's a f like you see myself here. It's smooth experience, and this is the default browser. You can of course download yourself Chrome browser if you want to do that. Ninjas, what I noticed, and just a minute, we're gonna do right now test heat test right now in the back because I feel a little bit that the smartwatch is warm. Check it out, guys. Thirty nine degrees. This is uh, honestly a bit warm. Of course, it's not overheating, but the smartwatch is a bit warm and you're gonna feel that on your hands. 39 degrees, you can feel that, bro. 39.4, 39.3. This is on maximum brightness, so I noticed that the smartwatch does a bit heat up. Again, this is nothing, nothing to panic about, but I have to report it. I know about other, I don't know about other reviewers that they even mentioned this slight small problem, and this is a problem. They should fix this in the future to make this smartwatch, uh, well, of course, uh, a bit more cooler, a bit more cooler. Uh, anyway, let's continue. Next, we have here camera. Okay, we check the camera. Let's go next here. Oh, it has, it has out of focus. <laughs> Awesome. It's okay. Let's go next here. Uh, what else we have? Gallery. We have gallery. We did. Oh, wait a minute. We missed browser gallery. Yeah, from here you can access the gallery. No all informations. This is the camera. Check it out. Awesome. Let's go next. Step step by step. Clock. Clock is probably yeah. Clock is just fine. Sound recorder. Let's do the sound recorder. Okay, I just recorded something. Let's play it back. One two one two. This is the mic check quality with Sigrid Max S. Wait, there's a wait. One, two, one, two, my mouse is just used to be right now. Check, check the quality. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, not bad, but uh, bro, the mic quality and the loudness is much, much better while using the camera. I don't know how in the heck screen recorder is right now this low. With the camera, the sound is amazing. Uh, file manager, heart rate sensor, fitness, weather. Here we go regarding the fitness. Let's enter the fitness. Sorry for that. And uh, let's enter the fitness here. What do we have? Use the positioning. Just a minute. Let's see what we have. Outdoor run. Let's get started. Let's get started. Outdoor bike we have. We have here the play basketball option. Uh, we have here also play football kids option here. We have play ping pong. Uh, what else? Play uh, badminton. And uh, yes. Yeah, we have different sports modes, guys. We have different sports modes. 
uh, weather option here regarding the weather let's check it out updating here we go this is how it looks like regarding the weather let's see here okay for the next yeah whole week whole week weather nice that's very nice bro gonna go back again entering the weather it gives you the main informations of the first day then swipe and it's gonna give you informations for whole week beautiful uh, weather voice what is this voice search we have option Google oh I didn't recognize right now I did <laughs> not bad okay not bad not bad Google didn't recognize me okay so it did recognize my voice clearly there that's fine Play Store option so let's go inside of the Play Store and see how smooth is experience while uh, checking out some uh, of course applications let's check this out categories I'm gonna go to the games here you go you probably can notice that check this out this is the first time running Play Store experience afterwards it closed from the background of course it's gonna be much smoother when you reopen it again from the RAM apps movies books yes games I mean let's try to download Candy Crash Saga and show you right now how fast it's gonna download it let's tap here okay it's downloading there you go 74 megabytes uh, let's check it out 1% 4% 5% okay not bad I wish that the internet speeds are faster here uh, I don't have a very internet fast uh, internet uh, fast speeds here but uh, I would say that the Wi-Fi receiver inside of this smartwatch could be better because this is kind of low rate speeds here even for my let's just say normal decent internet speeds because I know that uh, the smartphone uh, with the regular Wi-Fi antennas will uh, download this game bro with my internet speeds in just 5-10 seconds this right now I don't know why it's slow like this on this smartwatch I don't know honestly I don't know I can I can just blame that the Wi-Fi receiver is not that strong not that good let's go next uh, play, like you see by yourself Play Store experience is just okay for the price tag it's fluent enough Okay, next, unlock with smart, uh, with my face, smart face. <laughs> uh, next, maps, we have also maps. Can you believe it that this smartwatch also has GPS and maps? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, check this out. This is the home. Okay, where is my home? Let me see. New York. I'm in New York. I'm not in New York, bro. Check this out. Again, experience is just okay. Uh, assistant, we have here assistance right now. Connect the phone, remote capture. You can remote the capture from your smart uh, from your smartphone. Uh, play games, YouTube. Okay, finally, let's go and test this screen, guys. Let's go and test the screen. Just a minute. Go. Why it doesn't go down, man? What is this? What? Okay, that's a little bit odd. Let me go back. Swipe. What is? What the heck? What is it? Let me just unlock it. But is that a bug? I think that's a bug, bro. That's for sure a bug. Everything was normal. Yeah, now it's normal. Yeah, now it's more normal. I don't know what was that, bro. Some bug maybe or something. There we go. Ramzan Days, a cappella voice artist. Let's go next. Khalid Sadiq. A cappella voices only. Quality maximum we can go. Let's check this out. 280p! <laughs> okay, that is crazy that with the YouTube application, this this obviously the smartwatch doesn't have a 1080p screen, bro. But it's seriously cool that we can play 1080p YouTube videos. Let me just see how fluent it is with 1080p. Is it smooth? It is, it is smooth bro, it is smooth. Awesome, 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 awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Let's go next here. We're gonna go next now. Unbelievable bro, here's one of my videos. Watching my videos on smartwatch. <laughs> Let's go here. 60 FPS? No, come on, man. Impossible. 
Impossible, that it's gonna be laggy, man. Impossible, this smartwatch with this we let's just say cheap chipset processor. It can't, but maybe it can't 720p 60fps. It's laggy, it's laggy. 1080p 60fps is laggy, but let's go with the 720p 60fps. Skip a little bit. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so unbelievable, guys, but uh, the 720p 60fps works. It's smooth. It's smooth, bro. <laughs> What a crazy interesting smartwatch. I'm just checking right now here the temperatures while watching YouTube videos. Okay, somehow the temperatures are right now better, which is a little bit weird. I'm using right uh, this task is even heavier right now watching 60 FPS videos over YouTube. It should be more heavier task than the previous uh, things which I've been doing using camera and everything. Ah, maybe because I will use the camera, the, the phone heated up a little bit. Yeah, this is really smooth 60 FPS uh, experience right now. Check this out. Watching some Agonist gameplays here over the smartwatch. Beautiful. Okay, ninjas, I'm not gonna bother you too much. Uh, regarding the display was here, we're gonna just check. Let me just lock it. The viewing angles here are amazing. This is uh, obviously uh, in this price range, you could get uh, just a standard smartwatch with the OLED AMOLED displays or around $130, $150 for sure, or band. There are a few products which come with AMOLED displays. Of course, an AMOLED displays have amazing viewing angles, guys. And this is amazing right now, right on the screen. Beautiful. Anyway, what we didn't show you right now from here, this options calculator and optimization, plus we do have a erase from the background option here with this smartwatch. Plus we have a different, yeah, app store is there. Ida64, let's go with the Ida64 quickly. System, we're gonna check here the system, informations. There you go, 6739. Oh my god, it's an M MTK6739 chip. They've been using this, but again, again, this is a specially optimized chip for smartwatches for sure. Uh, yeah, it is WWAC. Built on 28 nanometer chip technology, 64 bit, but 32 bit mode. We're gonna go here to display. What do we have regarding the GPU? We have Power VR Vodge GE8100. High refresh rate, 70 Hz, okay, that's not correct, that shouldn't be correct, this is sh this is 60 Hz. Awesome, man, awesome, awesome experience here, what I'm seeing right now, I did 64. Anyway, uh, Ninjas, I think, okay, so from up there, we can access here the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, mobile data, GPS, uh, we have uh, also aeroplane mode, and here this hand bright screen off, or we have here also option, uh, wait a minute, this option is qui ah, quiet mode on, quiet mode, mode off, and this is regarding, of course, the brightness, minimum, medium, high, and maximum, there you go, you can just use indoors, maybe just on medium, should be fine. Here when you have a SIM card connected and Bluetooth connectivity, here we have the clean the clean everything. So from here you can just single tap and it's gonna clean everything from the background. And from here we have option to, well, just a minute, maybe this option here can help me to control the app from here. No, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't guys, so this probably helps me to control the things which are stored on a smartwatch. Yes, for sure, not what is connected with the smartphone, uh, but I did pair them all together. I mean, let's go next here from bottom, we can access here, okay, that's an interesting, steps counter, counter, and obviously calories burned. Nice. And uh, what else we can connect right now, what we else we can here, let me just go, let me go back, come on, let's see this option. Okay. Unlock. From left side, no notifications. From right side is the application. Okay. And that should be it. I repeat again here, from here you can select and change different Android uh, face skin. Face skin, whichever you want to do. I repeat again, if you remember what we downloaded and from that app it's a little bit stupid. So you can just download Circle uh, Wallpapers. Which is again, it's crazy. Look how it looks like. It makes no sense to have something like this on a chocolate smartwatch. Say it with chocolate here. Yeah. Okay, this is also very nice. This is also very nice, guys. 
Anyway, so did we mention everything? I think I mentioned everything with this smartwatch, guys. I'm gonna just uh, for the end uh, recheck, uh, of course, the heart rate sensor, and I'm gonna show you maybe one or two games for the end. We checked a, a lot of stuff uh, again. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, display. It's a liquid crystal display of Sharp, the 2.4 inch with 64p resolution, 333 ppi screen density, and 16 million colors, guys. So it's a really good display. With this smartwatch, has a really good display, and remember. Remember between the Max version and the Max S version, 75 millimeter wide and 52 millimeter in length, while the Max S is 65 millimeter in wide and 45 millimeter uh, in uh, in height. I was saying like that, yeah. The width and height, yeah, width and height. So it is, it is a bit smaller. It's a bit smaller. Again, it's still big. This is a still big smartwatch, boy. It's still a big smartwatch. Uh, let me just compare it with the standard. Here is my wifey's uh, smartwatch. This is the standard, guys. Smartwatch. Check this out. So you can see yourself here is like two standard smartwatches. Yeah, it's like two standard smartwatches. <laughs> nice. Again, and of course, remember that I need to have here a display. Let me just put it on maximum brightness so you don't think brightness level. There you go. This is maximum brightness right now. Go back. This is the ba go back go back button. And from here we I can access the applications. There you go. Nice. Nice. So uh, I, I, I was a little bit scared just before I continue next. I was a little bit scared about the, that heating, but that was probably because I would use the camera and the camera heated up the smart this, this smartwatch. Uh, we're gonna see how it's gonna probably also with the gaming is gonna heat up But for now with the regular use and also I was scrolling and checking informations and uh, uh, Using the YouTube the temperatures were very Good, normal, normal. Anyway, this is IP67 waterproof level. I remember that it supports Android 5 or iOS 9 and above. Uh, it has built in multiply 9 sports modes, global languages, and I repeat again this Android 7.1.1 system. Uh, yeah. 4G global network frequency enabled with the MTK 6739. Uh, let's go now uh, with the heart rate sensor. Here it is. Let me connect, uh, attach it to my uh, wrist. Here we go. Nice, normal heart rate right now. I'm having, of, of course, I'm just sitting in the studio. I'm not active at all. Uh, regarding my, obviously, body uh, moving around uh, with the steps. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Okay guys, for the end, a little bit of fun on this smartwatch to end it. Uh, beautiful, beautiful guys, beautiful smartwatch here. I do recommend it. Uh, again, it's very even difficult to find a smartwatch uh, with this kind of features and this size. Uh, if you are into something like this, again, for like with old, uh, well, not old, uh, big, tall, massive people, this smartwatch on really thick uh, wrist thick thick hands is not gonna even look that big <laughs> to be honest I saw like really huge people man uh, with the huge hands so this kind of thing is gonna look like a regular girlish smartwatch <laughs> uh, anyway let's continue next here there you go playing around and this is buttery smooth guys this is seriously buttery smooth experience Mediatek 6739 is just powerful enough for this kind of game so you can play Candy Crash uh, I'm gonna test another game for you for the end. So I repeat again guys, uh, decent battery life, uh, decent material here, use decent uh, design here, really good display, good features, SIM card uh, support, GPS support, Play Store support, I mean, what the heck, also the cameras are, uh, cameras amazed me, cameras amazed me here what kind of pictures and plus videos with the audio quality all together, amazed me. Okay, we're gonna test some fun game, Headball 2. I don't know will this game even uh, be playable, but uh, testing it for the first time on this smartwatch. Whoa! Okay, we have a practice match and the game runs very smooth, bro. What a incredible goal! Incredible goal.
<laughs> okay guys, we're gonna test this uh, soccer game, which is gonna be very interesting. Let's see how we're gonna play it. Fernanda. 400, uh, what, 400 coins? Okay. Oh, no, no, what the heck am I doing? What is it? What was this? It's very smooth. Check it out. What? What? Okay. Oh, too late. Very bad. That's very bad. Okay. Oh, it's a goal. I scored the goal. That was super easy. Okay, we're gonna... Ah, he, he saved it. He saved it. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Very playable. Very, very playable, bro. Let me see. Saved it. Nah. Ooh, what a goal. No, I out. Nice. This is goal. This is... Let's check this out now. Beautiful. Saved it. Close. Let's go next now. Ooh, he goal. He scored it. He scored it. I mean, I lost this one. Anyway, guys, I think you get the point here. This is it. Take this Max S. If you want to purchase it, the buying links will be in the description. Uh, and sorry again for this super long uh, review, but I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Great day, great day, great day. Nice and